kitchen thank you guys for coming back to my kitchen guys today we are going to pair Ghanaian jollof Ghana jollof jollof Ghana jollof jollof so guys you are going to make one of the popular food in Ghana jollof and I'm using chicken preparing of this food so it is chicken jollof so guys let's get started so guys i'm using chicken for my jollof and this is the chicken so i'm using sankofa season sankofa all mix season for my chicken after adding my spice i will sprinkle a little salt to taste So I'll blend this ingredient ginger pepper, garlic, green pepper and add it to my chicken to season. So it is time for frying. I'm going to fry my chicken for my cello fries. Show you what a million dollars to make a lie on lies, turn me to undercover. My love, she said, All of our friends are living la vida loca. To form you, me, my love, my love. Mm, if I did for me, but they want to put a hunger. I could die for you, oh, 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 oh. but you say, If you look at me, hide your face. So guys, we are done frying our chicken and it came out perfect. Take note, we are not going to throw the leftover oil away. We are going to use the leftover oil for our jollof rice. So this is the basic ingredients everyone needed in preparing this Ghana jollof your onions i've added my chopped onions to my oil cooking oil i'll add my tomato paste and fry the tomato paste for about five minutes so you can see the tomato is well cooked then you add your fresh tomato your pepper your ginger your garlic green pepper your grinded ingredients you add it to your sauce you cover it to cook for about extra 15 minutes So you will cover it 
and cook it for about 15 minutes you keep stirring 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 because you have to be vigilant if not you will burn your sauce so you have to be vigilant anytime you are frying your jello stew So you will still cover it to cook again because you have to keep eye on your stew. If not, you are going to burn your stew. You have to keep eye. And remember, you add your chicken stock to your stew. This is the chicken stock. I had enough because I added more ingredients. So I had enough. So this chicken stock gives additional taste to your jollof. Trust me. Give additional taste to your jollof. So I'll still add extra one season because I use one for my chicken. I'll add extra one sankofa season to my sauce. Then cover it to cook for an extra extra 10 minutes. Because anytime you are cooking Ghana jollof, you have to make sure the tomato is well cooked for you to get the taste. If no, you are not going to get the taste. So this is how I cook my jollof. I set some of the stew aside in case I need more I'll add it because there's still were many and I'm cooking small jollof for family, nuclear family of four. So I set some of the stew aside. But I will still be adding the stew when I'm cooking. So I'll add my water. I'll add my water to the rice instead. Don't add enough water. Just add small quantity of water because already the vapor is going to cook the jollof. We cook jollof with vapor but not with water. I'll also make another video that will make my jollof, Ghana jollof, without adding any water. I'm going to use only the vapor to prepare the jollof. This style of preparing Ghana jollof does not take longer time, just short time. Let's say 40 minutes, your jollof will be ready. So, you see, I've added more stew to my jollof that's why i want my jollof because if not you get it more soft i don't want the jollof to be more softer you understand i want it to be medium so after i'll go ahead and cover my jollof rice with foil to help it come out one one i want jollof rice that comes out one one like it looks so perfect and attractive so i'll cover it with full or you can cover with napkin then your jollof rice will be ready after covering it with napkin we will keep it on fire for about extra 15 minutes then your ghana jollof see how it came out perfect you add your chicken to your jollof you keep it a stir then you save for the family it looks so delicious and very simple to prepare please don't forget to subscribe leave comments in the comment section thank you guys for being with me to an end god bless you and see you guys on my next video bye bye i love you guys thank you so much for being there i love you Ta -ta.